Hello everybody, Dobby the House of here, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about the Hidden Blade in Assassin's Creed 3. And um, as in AC2 and AC um, Brotherhood, there's going to be a few updates that I think there's going to be a few updates you're going to get along the way. In AC2 you've got the Jewel Hidden Blade and um, you've got the Jewel Hidden Blade, Poison and the Gun. Um, and Brotherhood you you sort of got the same things again and you got the poison darts which was awesome and in uh, revelations you got the hook blade but um, there's a new um, I think dual blades are confirmed and there's a new sort of weapon I weapon on it and it's sort of I forget it it's a rope gun it, yeah it's a rope gun and basically the idea is you for he corner fires it and it will stick to somebody and wrap around them and I think that in the um, in the demo, at, I think it was E3, um, Connor's hiding in a tree and there's this uh, um, British garrison and he ropes one of their nets, um, puts her a tree and hangs down on a rope hanging the guy, um, which is pretty awesome. And um, so yeah, so that's one of the things that um, he's done an update, but I think in this, that one of the things that he'll get is an update, but I think one of the main, f I think in AC3 it's going to be focused on um, on sort of hit other weapons because um, the trailer sort of fo it, you don't see the hidden blade in the trailer you only see his awesome tomahawk and a sort of small um, a small blade that he uses to push this guy down with a musket bit but um, and so yeah I think that the game's going to be a little less focused on um, the hidden blade I'm not saying that it was ever really focused I'm just saying that like most people used the hidden blade because it was most efficient but anyway so yeah, um, thanks for watching, uh, double the house of out, and subscribe. Thanks, bye.